heading into the Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro. Remember the name, Carlos Solano Zarate. But I've seen the men do it. Now it's time for the women. The women's 50 meter breaststroke final. A quite phenomenal race in the men. What can the women produce? In diesem A-Finale der Damen über die 50 Meter Brust sehen wir auf Band 0 aus Singapur. Bronze mit allen Medaillen 2012 aus Singapore, London. From Singapore, the SB4 swimmer, three-time Paralympian, Ruisi Teresa Go. Auf Bahn 1 aus Spanien. In lane one, all conquering at the recent European Championships in Funchal, the SB9 swimmer from Spain, Sarai Gascon. In lane number two. Three times Paralympian, eight times Paralympic medalist, Australian swimming legend, Pre Watts. She was three times for the Paralympics and she's winning there eight medals. So representing Australia, Pre Watt. Next up, in lane number three, first over 100 metres at the Paralympics in London. We've already seen her put in a couple of fantastic performances over this competition. Michelle Alonso Morales, SB14 swimmer from Spain, goes in lane number three. Now this should be interesting. This is the SB2 swimmer, Ku Ping Peng. This is her first major competition. And she's seeded in the middle lane in an international final. Her dream is to go to Rio de Janeiro. If she can swim, as she swam this morning, she'll be in with a very good chance of achieving everything she wants to. In lane five, Maya Reichardt. First in the Paralympics in London. First in Funchal in 2016 in the European Championships. She has a great rivalry in the SB11 class with Lissetta Grunsman. But Lissetta isn't here tonight. So this is all about what Maya Reichardt can do on a multi-class level. Next to her in lane six, Elena Kravtsov. Second in the Paralympics over 100 metres in 2012. Set a world record on day number one as well. In fine form. In lane number seven. Very, very talented breaststroker in the SB4. Paralympic champion from 2008 in Beijing. Bella Trebinova. Bella Trebinova. Next up, in lane number eight, second at the Paralympics in 2012, over 100 metres, SB14 swimmer from the Netherlands, Magda Turtis. And her fellow Dutch swimmer is alongside her in lane number nine. Third in the Paralympics, claiming a bronze medal in London over 100 metres. This is Lisa Den Braba. So strap yourselves in. We've seen what the men produced. Don't rule out what the girls can do. This should be good. And they're away. Gascon gets a very quick start from lane number one. She's very, very quick, the S9 swimmer. 
That's B9, of course, in the breaststroke, I should say. And lane four getting away very, very quickly as well. And lane three, rather, is Prue Watts from Australia. And also Michelle Alonso Morales streaking through the field here. SB14 swimmer so picking up pace as she heads towards the wall. What sort of time can we see here from Michelle Alonso Morales? It's 33.05. That's going to be very, very tough to beat. In they come, though. Can anyone get close? No one's taking the gold medal off Michelle Alonso Morales unless Maya Raycard can do it. That's a very quick time from Maya Raycard. Only just outside world record sort of pace. She's claiming 1,008 points. What now can Ku Ping Peng do? Morales in second, Krasov in third. Ku Ping Peng is coming towards the wall. It's a little bit outside of world record time. I think it's going to be close. It is close and it's 1,130 points close. Fantastic swim from Ku Ping Peng in her first major international competition. She's going to leave the International German Championships with a medal. And in fact, we've even seen a world record. Elena Kravtsov of Germany. Absolutely incredible. Elena Kravtsov with a phenomenal swim. 